For many it is history and heritage, for others it is about tradition and faith, and for yet others it is mythology. Regardless of what your belief or ideology is, there is something that almost everybody should agree with. It is not possible to completely understand India without understanding the significance of the Ramayana. Now a TV show based on the Ramayana is breaking viewership records. Gulf News, which is a Dubai-based newspaper, published an article saying that Ramayana had nearly six times viewers than HBO's most-watched episode, the final of Game of Thrones. According to Nielsen data, an estimated 13.6 million viewers watched the last episode of Game of Thrones. On April 30th, a public broadcaster in India, Doodarshan, tweeted that this resulted in Ramayana being the most-watched entertainment show in the world. Something else worth knowing is that during the coronavirus lockdown, the show was aired for the first time in 33 years. On April 16th, it brought in 77 million viewers. Earlier, the Wall Street Journal had published an article that stated, as Hollywood battles for subscribers in the worldwide streaming binge brought on by the new coronavirus, reruns of a 1980s religious drama from a state-run broadcaster have emerged as a surprise hit in India. Quite visibly, the news of the TV show breaking viewership records was a reason of celebration for many Indians, but it appeared that the story failed to interest most global media outlets. Apart from a few, most did not report the development. According to the Southeast Asia Center of University of Washington, the story of Rama, about a prince and his long hero's journey, is one of the world's great epics. It began in India and spread among many countries throughout Asia. Its text is a major threat in the culture, religion, history and literature of millions. Each country in Southeast Asia has created a unique version of the story, as it has become a prominent part of the culture in these regions. Each version reflects the values and beliefs of that particular culture. This has resulted in hundreds of variations of the story of Rama throughout Asia, particularly in Southeast Asia. In Cambodia, the version that is popular refers to Rama as Preaream, and Sita is known as Neang Seda. One of the favorite parts for those in Cambodia is the encounter that took place between Hanuman and Sovan Matcha. In Indonesia, the name of the city of Yogyakarta is a transliteration of Ayodhya. The story of Phra Ram has become the national epic for the people in Laos, because it holds so much importance to them. Although Praram is considered a previous incarnation of Gautam Buddha and is regarded as the epitome of moral leadership and a true follower of his dharma. Likewise, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines and Thailand have their own versions of the Ramayana, as its popularity and cultural legacy go beyond the current geographical borders of India. Hi, I'm Carolina. Since you're here, I would like to suggest that you watch an episode that I previously published. This should familiarize you with a lot of lesser-known facts regarding India's soft power. See you again.